I honestly don't know what to think, but I need to buy this set. Hey guys, Jay, welcome back to the channel. So guys, this is getting crazier and crazier. I mean, we just found out about, you know, the Master Universe leaked card art from Manuel Eduardo Caritas and of course, Toy Habits, who broke the news earlier yesterday. And now Hasbro is doing something even more interesting. They literally just dropped some new figures on HasbroPulse.com for their Studio Series line. And although two of the releases are absolutely ridiculous, and I'm actually surprised and excited about them, one of the sets is got me scratching my head and just giving me sort of, you know, flashbacks of my childhood. Not necessarily good ones either. Guys, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week, and I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. Well, guys, without further ado, let's take a deep dive and see exactly what happened on Hasbro Pulse today and which of these are more traumatic for some than others. Let's have a look. Guys, as you already know, Power Day sales event is going on right now. You can still save up to 35% if you are a Premium Plus member and non-premium plus members still save 15%, so definitely head over there, take a look at what's new today because more items keep getting added every single day. If we head over to the Transformers page for Studio Series, three items in particular really caught my attention. Scrolling down, we can see some amazing new figures being offered on Hasbro Pulse, the first of which is very interesting, Studio Series Grimlock. Now, this is crazy. He looks absolutely awesome. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Bayverse movies, but I gotta tell you, when I see something really striking to me, I do have to actually pay attention. And this is about as striking as you can get. I mean, look at this guy. He is big, he is beefy, he is huge. This is Grimlock from the Studio Series. Pretty much exactly the way he looked in the movie. Like, wow. Uh, if I was collecting Studio Series for the movie figures, this would definitely be on my radar. Guys, definitely don't sleep on this one. It's already sold out on HasbroPulse.com, but as soon as this gets to the retailers, you do not want to miss out on this guy. He looks absolutely awesome, and I have to say that being not much of a big fan of the Bayverse movies. So, sold out right now, $54.99. Definitely check your targets and your Walmarts whenever he hits the stores. The other set, Hasbro is actually really encouraging troop building or army building. This is crazy. The Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Troop Builder Multipack. What? That's kind of crazy. Like, seriously, they've already started doing this with their vintage collection, Stormtroopers, Death Troopers, Rebel Army Builders as well. Even the modal nodes have their own Army Builder pack, and this is going to be something which I think will be more of a trend going forward. I'll probably do an entire episode dedicated to Army Building in the near future, but this particular Army Builder set is very interesting as it includes a whole bunch of figures the first of which is a general seeker these are of course very popular in the transformers lore he is an earth rise mold so he definitely has that jet appearance instead of the triangular cybertronian figures that usually come out so he's going to be a wonderful addition to your army building needs the next figure is the g2 universe cybertronian trooper now this is just a repaint based off of the Skull Grin figure released earlier in the year. I'm not really sure about the choice of colors though, as these are a little bit more pastel than I would have liked. As an army builder, he probably will bolster your ranks rather well. And I think that they really wanted to separate themselves from Skull Grin as much as possible. It should also be noted that his head sculpt actually can have a helmet of sorts, giving more variety to your army building, bolstering your ranks and different appearances on the field. The next figure is the Animated Universe Auto Trooper. Now, this is based off of the original Iron Hide and Ratchet molds from Siege. It does seem as if it has two different head sculpts. That's interesting giving you options if you want to keep building different figures and different options for your army building needs. Finally, the army building pack has something which really caught my attention. It is the Quintesson Alicon army builder. Simply named the Quintesson Trooper, this one really did catch my attention. Earthwise was the first time we ever saw these guys in action figure form, and he really does look menacing here as a troop builder. They have added some additional bits to really differentiate him from the original Alicon released a few years ago. He has these spikes protruding from his shoulder pauldrons, that additional crazy axe which was featured in the movie itself. He even has a mace weapon, which I don't think was originally included with the Alicon. 
He also has a brand new head sculpt, was featured in the movie and never actually included with the original version. As we can see here, no shoulder spikes and the color scheme was very, very different. It's no surprise that this set has already sold out seeing as this particular figure is a very sought after addition to the line and really is the standout character in the entire set. This is a really sought after pack and it has already sold out even though it costs a whopping $77.99. Keep your eye on the Hasbro Pulse page as we do know these do sometimes go back in stock after a few days or so. So definitely do yourself a favor and keep an eye out on this just in case they do shut back up. But the shocking announcement for today really threw me for a loop and honestly I don't know whether to think that this is poor taste or absolutely awesome. It's hard to tell right now. As a complete shock to everybody, especially me, Hasbro Pulse has put up for sale the Transformers Studio Series Ironhide and Prowl death scene robots from the Transformers the movie? This is just absolutely crazy. What were they thinking with this set? Oh my god. Guys, this is, I mean, there's not much more to say here. These two figures depict the deaths of both Ironhide and Prowl. Two of the most traumatic deaths in the entire movie, which basically laid the groundwork for what kids would be thinking of years to come after the movie had come out. Seriously, Prowl's death was particularly gruesome. And that's fully realized here in this version of Prowl. If we take a zoom into the actual face of Prowl here, this is a brand new head sculpt. As you can see, Prowl's face is literally in that same freeze frame from the movie where he literally met his demise. This was traumatizing to all kids around that age who are in the theaters watching this. Our good friend Toy Connections has created a wonderful history of the Transformers 1986 movie on a video. You guys should definitely go check it out. He recants the history of the Transformers movie from start to finish and catalogs exactly how traumatic it was to see characters like Ironhide, Prowl, Starscream and Optimus Prime literally coming to their deaths in this movie. Bawling and crying, wanting to leave the theater. It was absolutely nuts. As a matter of fact, we can literally see Prowl's face being captured here in this, in this freeze frame from Ken. And if we compare this to the expression that he has here on the action figure itself, I think this is proof positive that they literally modeled this after his death scene. This is kind of creepy, at the same time it's kind of awesome. I really don't know what to think about this guys, this is kind of, kind of weird. It was doubly shocking in the fact that he was literally smoking at the mouth as if something, you know, was, was, was leaving his body. It really was one of those traumatic moments in my childhood that left a lasting impression on me even to this day. And now seeing this figure with pretty much the exact same expression, I... Honestly, don't know what to think, but I do have to say I need to buy this set because seriously, I've never heard of Hasbro doing anything like this, dealing with something as controversial as death in, in toys for kids. That's something I never thought that they would ever do. Focusing back on Ironhide for a moment, if we head over to Elite Prime's video, Transformers Attack on the Shuttle, we can literally see the moment where Ironhide and Ratchet are blown to smithereens through the chest and literally fall to their doom. And seeing these two figures now sculpted in that moment, we can literally see the hole that's been blown out of Ironhide's chest here, pretty much exactly the way it was depicted in the movie itself. Zooming in, we can see both Ratchet and Ironhide literally having their chest cavities blown wide open. And it really is representative here in the actual action figure, which in a lot of ways just blows my mind. True. Iron High's face is still intact. It doesn't have the same grimacing features that Prowl does, but it's just one of those things where you know exactly what's happening. And I do wonder if it would have been more interesting to have a wincing face from Ironhide, which of course allows for customizers to come in and do an even crazier job knowing their skill sets. And using this as a base, it'll be absolutely ridiculous to see what they come up with. Unfortunately, the rest of their overall appearance doesn't seem to have been 
altered in many ways. Having said that, I think that less is more in this case, and it really is something where you can go too far with this type of idea. The box art is subtle with the Buzzworthy Bumblebee figures. The open face box does concern me a little bit. As people who are just looking to pick up the head sculpts for these new figures, seeing as they are very different from the original head sculpts from the Earthrise figures themselves, they can literally be popped off of the heads quite easily as we've seen in many of my toy hunts. They do come with a host of blast effects which are actually more like Decepticon blast effects which is an interesting choice and I'm almost certain that they're meant to actually plug into these little sections here on the front of both of their chests giving them an appearance of being mortally wounded from their injuries. They do transform as you would expect and again this is an interesting type of look as I really don't see the point of actually having them transform. And if you are interested in picking up this set, it is still available for pre-order right now, $54.99 on Hasbro Pulse. The other two sets have since sold out. You'll have to try hunting these guys in the wild at Target, but if you're interested in what I'm going to call the Two Faces of Death pack, definitely head over to Hasbro Pulse right now and pre-order that for yourself. Guys, I got to tell you, the Transformers the movie was one of my absolute favorite movies of all time, and... This kind of hits me in the feels a lot. And I'll tell you, when I saw that scene in the theaters, I wasn't really crying at that part. That one really was just a shocking, shocking moment, which kind of made me think, Transformers can die? But what really brought a tear to my eye was definitely when Optimus did actually pass away that. I really did feel like Daniel at that moment. I was really, really you know, bawling my eyes out. And, you know, my, my, my dad was like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. And I was like, yeah, I'm not really sad, I'm not really sad. But I was damn sad. I was really crying. But it came back in the, in the, in the climax of the movie and, of course, the triumph of the Autobots at the end. So this particular set does have some connection with me and I really have to tell you, I'm not 100% sure if I am in on this. But I have to have this, as it really does epitomize one of the craziest things that I saw when I was a kid. And even though I might not, you know, like the overall scene that it depicts, I really have to say that it's something which I really have to own. But that's just my opinion, guys. And if you are interested in it, definitely head over to HasbroPulse.com because it is available, at least for now, for pre-order. All of the rest of the figures, which I just confirmed, are only available as Target exclusives, are pretty much sold out. Uh, Grimlock for Studio Series is sold out, as well as the Troop Builder 4-pack. That's already sold out. Those are now only available at Target.com. However, we do know that every now and again, Hasbro Pulse will restock within a day or two, sometimes, not always, of these figures. So keep your eyes open. Maybe you can actually snag one on HasbroPulse.com in the following days. Guys, let me know in the comment section below. Are you interested in any of these Studio Series figures? Or are these kind of, you know, not in your wheelhouse? Particularly the movie edition, which kind of just makes me scratch my head. But at the same time, I really need this because it really is one of those scenes, at least for me, which was one of those things which really defined my childhood in not so good ways, but it really was something which I just cannot forget. And it is something which I wouldn't mind owning. Guys, let me know all those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. And if you're in the position to help out the channel, please consider checking my Patreon page. It's Mega J Retro on Patreon. Guys, the patrons and channel members of this channel help me make wonderful episodes every single week, and I couldn't do it without them. They are the best. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. It really means the world to me. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, Thank you very much for watching. Till all are one, everyone. Good journey. Geek proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow. And I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.